We're going to talk about tasks, what they're used for, and how to create a basic task in this video. First thing is our tasks are completely separated from our route schedule. They are two different things. They do not like to be tied together in the software, however you can, but for the purpose of this video, your tasks are your one-off calls. They are customers that call you up on the phone that need you to come look at a pool pump that may be going bad. Maybe they need you to come out and do an extra um, mowing of the yard and weed eating before a party. Maybe they need you to spray for bugs. Maybe they need you to come out and fix a plumbing issue. We cover a large variety of industries with our software, and a task can handle basically any industry. These tasks are one-off jobs. They're things that do not reoccur. So if you have a reoccurring appointment or something you need to show up on site every week, every month, you don't need the tasks, you need the route schedule. So you would click this video, you click this button for the route schedule to get your route schedule and ask for a video from the training department if you don't see one on route schedules. Now let's talk about the tasks. So let's say you get a phone call from somebody and they need you to enter a task because you need to get somebody on site today, tomorrow to look at an issue. What we're going to do is we're going to click on this big green plus sign at the top of the software. It says task entry. You can go ahead and click that. In here, these tasks look almost overwhelming at first until you understand what all these options are. This video is not going to go into great detail on the different options. You'll need to get into some of the more experienced videos shortly. But this is a good place to start. So we're going to do this like a book, up, upper left area, down, and then we're going to go to the next area. First thing is you have a customer parent drop down. If you don't know what a parent is, you probably don't have them. Um, an, exa an example of a parent would be, uh, let's say Walmart is one of your customers and you service 10 locations. Walmart would be a parent name that you could select. And then from there you get the uh, option to select all the different locations. But for the purpose of this, let's just say that you just have customers. First thing you're gonna do, let's say Brazilian Food Market gives you a call and they say, I need you to come out back and um, take a look at something that we have going on here. We're having a plumbing issue. You select their name, it'll, the system will auto, the system will auto load all information, phone numbers, addresses, alternate phone numbers, all that info will get pulled from this customer detail. The next thing is you want to put in a task description. Maybe you're doing plumbing jobs today and you need to get someone out to fix a sink issue. This task description is for basics on what's going on. This area here, task specific notes, you'll notice that this auto loaded. I had set a pop-up inside this customer's detail to auto load here. That's why this is showing. That's just another option the software can do, but we won't delve into that right now. We need to talk about our task specific notes. This area is not visible to the customer, but this area is. However, this is a database. I would act like customers seeing everything I put in here. So if you have specific notes you need to give uh, to your technicians, maybe um, maybe it's in the very back room, so you need to tell your guys where to go. Maybe you need to give them more information on a part or something. You can put that in here. It will be relayed to your text on the mobile side or via a printout. Now the reason why I like the task specific notes area when you click out of it, it gives you a date and time stamp. So if this task has been open for a few weeks, people can go back into the task, add more follow-up notes if it's a long project and you get a complete history. You can add as much information as you need into the task-specific notes area. So when we're creating a task, we just need the customer, we need a description, we do not have to have task-specific notes. We then want to give this thing a due date. Let's say the customer says, you know what, I'm not going to be available tomorrow. It's not that big of a deal. Send somebody out on Friday. We can just select Friday the 7th, and then we're going to assign it to someone. Maybe Joe is going to be doing that job. The last piece that you may need here is the start time. Maybe they say uh, don't show up before. Maybe they're going to tell you to show up at 2 o'clock or after. We can select 2 p.m. And if we want, we can set an approximate time on site, one hour, and the system will give you an approximate end time. The system's not going to hold you to this. This is just something to refer to on when you should be there. Once you have these pieces, 
there is one more thing you may want to use, and you may want to add line items for your technicians. However, you don't have to. These can be added before you invoice this task once the work is done. If you wanted to add a line item, simply select the drop-down, add the item you want with the quantity and the price. When you're done, click back on Task Details, and the system will show you a total for what's been added. So we've done everything we need to create an actual task. From here, we can click the Close button, and this task will show up here on the task list. Here's the task I created for 4-7, and it's assigned to Joe for Brazil Food Market. Once you have that task created, if you use the mobile devices, you need to click the Sync Mobile Device button. From this top drop-down, select Tasks, and then hit Sync. Once this is complete, that task has been sent to the mobile devices, and it is ready to be worked.